All right, this video is about multiplying whole numbers. So it might be something like 243 kids from our school times by two. So we might be talking about all the kids at St. Thomas and all the kids at Loretto Nedlands. What are the, is the total number of kids? Or if we're doing Harmony Day and the sixes, the fives, the fours and the threes need to catch a bus somewhere and we're talking about four classes of 31 students. So whole number multiplying. All right. Some things don't change much. You need to make sure that when we're multiplying that this symbol says multiply. It would be so sad for it to be an addition or a subtraction. Brilliant. So we do start here each time. So the first question, and this is our times tables. What is two times three? And the answer is six. Notice that everything is really, really straight. So two times three equals six. So far, so good. Two times four equals eight. Please keep it really, really straight, mate. Next one is two times two. So you can almost just tick them off when you're done. So two times two equals four. Now, don't forget, this is multiply. So we shouldn't be adding the numbers together. We should be timesing them. Next question over here. What is four groups of 31? How much does that add up to? Four groups of 31. So again, we start in that part and we say four times one equals four. Please keep it nice and straight. The next thing we do is four times three. So four times one is done. Four times three equals 12. If you had four lots of 31 children, you would have 124 in total. All right, now these two down here are a little tougher and mainly the reason is because some of these tables add up to more than 10. So two times three, two times four, two times two, Four times one, four times three. This is kind of a good example. Um, anything that adds up to, or anything that equals more than 10 is a bit tougher. So these were all single digit answers. That's probably a better way of putting it. These are all single digit answers, but some of these are double digit. So for example, three times four is 12. So the answer's got two digits in it. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18. Anything that's got two digits in the answer is a bit tougher. We are starting here. We are doing multiply. And the first thing that we say is three times five. Three times five equals 15. Think about the number 15 for me. Okay, so the number that's in the ones column goes here and we carry the 10 over. So that does kind of make sense. This one in 15 is a 10 and this is the tens column. So we bring it over. 
I always write a plus because it gets plussed on at the end. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 equals 7. So these were still multiplied, it was 3 times 2, but plus 1 at the end. So don't forget to plus 1, don't forget. We put the 5 down, 3 times 5 equals 15. That's what our 15 looks like. So the 5 gets written down here and the 1 gets carried. 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 is 7. 3 times 4, we've done that, we've done that, we're now up to here. 3 times 4 is 12. So 1,275. All right, one more for today. We are doing multiply and we always start here. Three times four equals 12. Think about the number 12. The number in the digits column, the number, the number in the units column, the number in the units column goes here and we can carry the 10 over there and it is a plus one. Good, done. Three times four is 12. Put down the two, carry the one. The next question is three times five. Three times five equals 15. Plus one equals 16. Think about the number 16. Put down the 6, carry the 1. Put down the 6, carry the 1. A nice, neat plus 1. Good. So far, so good. Back 3 times 6 equals 18. Plus 1. Don't forget, that would be such a shame to miss out by just one number. So 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 1 equals... 19. Multiplying whole numbers, that is um, four really good examples of how to multiply whole numbers. I'm glad you're watching. It's a very, um, a very sensible, sensible thing to do. A couple of practices and you'll be absolutely flying by the end of the term. Good job.